What's up guys, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel for another hair product review. And this week we are finally, finally taking a look at the fiber paste from Bivalane, which I realized after the fact I was incorrectly calling night fiber in a couple of those polls, so. Oh, whoops. Now, I've had this for a while. They sent this to me, I feel like, ages ago. Um, and now they sent me a full-size one as well as the travel or trial size. There's a hair stuck to that. So um, I didn't open the full-size one. I'm actually gonna do a giveaway. Uh, so stick around to the end of the video to learn the deets on that because one of y'all can win this one. So the one that I've been actually trying and getting my hair stuck to uh, was the trial size one. So starting straight away with packaging, as always, this comes in the Bivalane standard 2.2 ounce or 65 milliliter black plastic tub with a plastic lid and stick on labeling there. And this is retailing for $22 US and that's from both Slick Our Shop as well as places like Fleek Fellows if you're inside the US or that sort of thing. So it's a pretty universal price tag. Now on the jar, this one does say medium hold and smooth finish, but they give some more details on the website. So I'm gonna just take a quick gander at that. All right, so the little blurb says, uh, fiber paste adds a new dimension to your daily styling routine. It's a professional fiber paste that delivers a medium pliable hold and a natural matte finish. Most importantly, it's easy to work with and comes with a fresh minty scent. We all know how I love scents. The consistency is hard at first, but will turn soft once heated between the palms. With eight plus hours of high humidity curl retention, it offers excellent curl memory and superior style creation, and of course leaves no flaking or dusting. Now I actually, I wish I had read that earlier because I didn't try this as like a curl thing. I mean, as most of you, <gasps> As most of you are probably aware by now, my hair naturally is actually quite curly and I just blow it out straight all the time. So I used this as I typically would. Um, so I'm, I am a little bit curious about how it would work if I like applied it to damp hair and just left it curly. First, we have to talk about my favorite category of the scent. So we, we read on the website there that it's supposed to have a fresh minty scent. So we shall see. Where's the mint at? I, I don't get any mint. Um, to me, it just smells like wax. So it's a very just kind of natural in the way that it smells like what's in there, I guess. So I know a lot of people are into that. Some people like unscented products and this is certainly one that even if it did have that fresh minty scent, um, it you wouldn't smell it like immediately after putting it in your hair. So there you go. I am a little bit disappointed in that because being like a guy who enjoys a little bit stronger scents in his products. Um, I, you know, I just wish there was a little bit more of something. I don't know why I keep doing this. My shoulders, it's not good. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a major fan of like minty scents anyway. I mean, like they're fine, um, but they're they're not my my scent of choice, I suppose. But yeah, like I said, this one to me just smells like wax. So quickly into the ingredients, this is a lab product. So it is a lab-like ingredient list. Um, so the ones that you will recognize, first of all, it is water-based. So we've got aqua in the first spot, and then we have both lanolin wax and Sara Alba beeswax in there. So that's what's gonna be generating the hold and probably also the fibers. So with that, uh, let's take a look inside. We're gonna crack this bitch open, take a look at the product itself, the scoop, the breakdown. Uh, and then we'll go straight into the demo footage. All right, so looking inside the jar, if you've used any other Bivalane styling wax before, you'll see something that you are very familiar with. It's just this kind of off-white color and scooping it out, it is, as they mentioned, pretty hard at first. So you do need to apply a bit of pressure to get that out of there. But once again, true to what they say, it does easily soften and break down. And this one actually does have some fibers in it. We've used some fibers in the past that don't really have fibers in them. I'm looking at you, Old Spice. And once you get that into the palm and warm it up, it does just feel, you know, familiar. It feels waxy. It's got a little bit of tack to it, although nothing too extreme. It does break down smoothly, and you can even there see a little bit of that kind of fibrous nature to it. So moving that right over into the demo footage, as per usual here, we're starting out with freshly cleaned blow dried hair. And the only pre-styling I've done is to use a smoothing agent just to uh, defrizz my 
coarse wavy hair. So we're going in with a small scoop here. Definitely you don't need a whole lot of this. So like one dime size scoop is generally enough for me. And we're just applying that as per usual, just back to front, getting it into the roots. Now you can, if you want a cleaner style, this does, I mean, it's waxy. So it, it has to me kind of a, a pomade-like texture in the hair. So you certainly can go through with a comb if you wanted a cleaner style, but y'all know me, I like my finger combed kind of messy, piecier texture. So that's what I've gone for here. So here we are with the final look. So you can get an idea of the texture and the finish. Now they called this a natural matte finish. Um, for me, I natural maybe, for me, it's like teetering between natural and low shine, uh, especially immediately after I've applied it to the hair. I've applied, applied, applied it to the hair. Um, and I have noticed after about 30 minutes or so of settling, the shine does seem to back off slightly and it does get a little bit closer to what I would consider for myself a more natural finish. I certainly don't think it's matte, but it, but it's fine. I don't mind it at all. And as far as the texture, it's, you know, it's not as coarse as a, a clay texture would be and it's not quite as you know, fine and stringy as some waxes would be. It's somewhere right in the middle. So I do think uh, that it kind of applies itself to multiple types of styles. Now they are calling this a medium hold. And for me, um, I, it was a little bit stronger than a medium for me, actually. I mean, it's I definitely on like the medium firm end of that for me, uh, even with just a one dime size or maybe one and a half dime size scoops if I felt I needed a little bit extra something. But yeah, for me, this was something that like if I didn't touch it and just left it alone all day, it would pretty much not move at all. Uh. Oh God. Now in terms of the kind of humidity resistance or humidity control aspect of it, it is still just cold as fuck here in Connecticut this time of year. So I didn't get to really test it against, you know, the warmer weather and the extreme humidity that we do get here in the summertime. But yeah, I mean, taking a look here at the end of the day, this is about 10 hours later and I think it looks pretty much the exact same as it was when I finished styling it in the morning. As I mentioned, maybe slightly less shine, um, maybe a very slight, you know, deflation in volume or very, very slight medium hold-esque breakdown, but really it's very restylable. It is definitely very pliable and it has a, a quite waxy presence in the hair. Now, as far as the washout on this one, it is easy. It doesn't come out completely with just water for me, but who cares? Honestly, I always use shampoo when I'm washing my hair and with any old shampoo, this bitch just came right out. That was a lame, whistle. All right, so overall thoughts on the Bivalane fiber paste. It's pretty good. Uh, you know, is it my favorite product in the world? No, but I do think that it, it almost like overperformed for me, you know, like it, it, for me, it had a stronger hold than was advertised. And uh, yeah, it was a little bit shinier than I might have liked. But I, not a problem. It wasn't like super shiny or anything. And yeah, as I mentioned, as a scent guy, um, I would have appreciated a bit more of a scent to it, but whatever. Yeah, and so, you know, of, of the Bivalane stylers I've used, I enjoyed this one over others. Like, I didn't really have that great of an experience with, you know, Gold Digger or Silver Fox. Those were too, like, dry and tuggy pulley for me. Although I haven't used the new Reforms, so I, I can't speak to those. I also haven't used the, the ones that, I, I believe this used to be called Night Fiber, unless that was a different product, I might be wrong. Um, I, I haven't used any previous iterations or anything, so I can't really compare it to the, any of those. But um, yeah, no, I, I know I'm sure I'm gonna get this question of like, well, how does it compare to every other Bivalane styler or, you know, how which one is your favorite or whatever? I don't know. I think of the Bivalane stuff, my, I guess, favorite styler of theirs would probably still be Wax Zero. Um, but I, I quite enjoyed this one. All right, and now, last but not least, the giveaway of the full-sized one. So I'm gonna just do this super simple. I'm obviously doing this myself, so I'm just gonna have a link in the description box below to a basic bitch Google form. Just give me your name and your preferred email address for me to contact you 
if you are the winner. So I'll leave it open for, I don't know, a few days, maybe a week. I'll, I'll put the details all down below. And after the entry period is over, I'll just hit a random button and choose that person. And I'll send you an email, ask for your shipping info, and I'll just send it to you. So that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Good luck with the giveaway. And please do stay tuned. I have just a miasma, no, that's not the right word, a myriad, that's the word I was looking for, a myriad of content still coming your way, so hit the button below, subscribe if you want to, and as always, thank you guys so much for coming by and watching, and we'll see you at the next one.